Today we're adding tape measurement fractions. In order to add these fractions together, we want to take the denominator that's the smallest number, so the bottom number that's smaller, and we're going to rewrite that as an equivalent fraction with the same denominator as the first term. So we re want to rewrite that 4 as a 16, and if we look up on our uh, ruler, we know that 1 quarter is the same as 4 sixteenths. So that's just like um, multiplying the top and the bottom of the fraction each by 4. So what we have now is 1 sixteenth plus 4 sixteenths. So all together, if you have 1 sixteenth and you add another 4 sixteenths, you would have 5 sixteenths. Now if we look up on our chart, we know that 5 sixteenths is as low as we can go. We can't uh, make that into a simpler form. Okay, try the second question. Which fraction, is it the 1 half or the 3 quarters, would we change so that the bottom number is the same? So think about that. Okay, if you've thought about it, it should be the, the smaller number we always want to change that to end up having the same denominator as the bigger uh, number on the bottom. So 4 is bigger than 2, we're going to change that 2 into a 4. So 1 half is the same as multiplying 2 by 2 makes the 4, multiplying 1 by 2 makes the 2. So 1 half is the same as 2 over 4. So this fraction becomes 2 over 4, or 2 quarters, plus 3 more quarters. So if I have two quarters and I add three more quarters, all together that makes it five quarters. So notice we're just adding the top numbers together and the bottom number stays the same. Now on this one, five quarters is um, an improper fraction. The number on the top is larger than the bottom. So that means we have a full inch plus a bit of an inch. Okay, now in terms of that, a full inch would be four quarters, but I didn't have just four, I had five altogether. So I know I need to add one more quarter to that to make the five quarters. And this four quarters really is one whole inch, so this part becomes the one whole inch, plus we have a quarter left. So that uh, one half inch plus three quarters of an inch would equal one and one quarter of an inch. All right, so try the next ones, see what you can do with this, this side, and then there is another video that will talk about the second side.